Hello guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here my name is Miranda and today I'm going to be showing you how I make flower crowns out of real flowers. This one that I'm wearing is not real, um, I'm just wearing it for the aesthetic until I make the real one. Um, I posted a picture on Instagram so if you didn't see it or if you're not following me go ahead and do that because I post on there pretty much all the time every day and you can keep up with me when I'm not on YouTube. But I posted that photo and asked you guys if you wanted me to do a tutorial on how I do this because there are already a lot on online. Um, I remember when I was 18 is when I actually learned how to make flower crowns out of real flowers because I saw a video on how to do it with dandelions and that's kind of how I learned how um, which is a really cute idea too um, but yeah I've just known how to and there are videos but you guys still wanted to see me do one so here we are um, I'm going to be using daffodils because they are a very seasonal flower at least here in Ohio we get them for maybe a week and a half because our weather is so crazy that they will be dead if it snows again somehow so I got those and it's just something that I do in the springtime I've done it a few years in a row actually um but yeah it's just something that's really fun to do and they're really easy flowers to do it with because they're so readily available um there's a park where they have like a whole bunch so I just get them from there um but they grow pretty much anywhere so they're a really easy flower to get and I figured I would show this video now so if you guys are watching this you can do it while you still have daffodils. So um, let's just go ahead and get started. So guys one tip that I want to say is to grab more flowers than you think you'll need. Um, grab a lot because you never know, I don't know how big your head is. Um, it, and you want to have extra flowers to build the front of it to be um, more full so it's not spaced out and kind of weird looking. So my flowers are wet because I've had them in water. Also I would recommend to not cut it off to where it's really short because you want to have length because that's how you actually build it. Um, so I usually keep the stems relatively long because you can always cut it shorter once it's all finished if any pieces are sticking out you'll see what i mean as i actually get into it so you want to grab two flowers it doesn't really matter which one you start with and what i do is i just take my nail and like towards like maybe around down here i just poke a hole in it with my nail so there's a little slit i don't know if you guys We'll be able to see the little slit that I made with my nail. And with that slit, you're going to take your second flower and just thread it through. Here, let me see if I can get you some up close flower building action. What I'm going to do is just push it through. And then you just thread it and you know later on I mean you want them to kind of face the same way so that when it's a crown it'll blend better so then now that you have this extended thing you can always cut that later um, but now I'm gonna take the second flower stem make a hole in the stem like you did before and then take a new flower and sometimes if it's too long, sometimes the bite, the, the bite, the base will be like too thick. So I'll kind of trim it a little bit again. Just threading through. So this is gonna be the front of mine, I'm, I think. I don't really know. We'll see how it turns out. And since I did trim this one a little bit too short, I'm just going to use the, f the stem from this flower again to loop another one through. And then, you know, this is basically what you're going to be doing. And then pretty much it's kind of like a guess and check because you kind of got to see. I mean, once you get it like longer, this isn't long enough, but 
eventually we're going to be bringing it full circle and that's the triangle right now because not long enough but you'll be able to see later what I do so I'm just going to keep doing this and then when I get to a point where I think I'm done I'll be back all right so I feel like mine is long enough to where when I connect it it'll be a pretty good circle so I'm going to go to the very top of where we first with the very first flower I'm going to cut a hole right at the very top so that I can loop this through and then it'll be a full circle. There are a lot of sparse areas still so I'm going to insert flowers you know here but I mean this is the gist of it. This is the very first flower I think so I'm putting that in the back. And yeah, I mean, this is what we're working with, and you can always add more. Okay. Let me see. So this stem right here is sticking out. So I'll probably move that out of the way. It's just good to kind of see where you're at, so you can alter it as need be sorry my mirror is down here now so that's where i'm gonna look you can just just do that but all right guys Honestly, I don't know how the back of this looks, and it probably doesn't look that good. But I mean, the front is pretty much what I care about, because that's when you take photos, that's what you're gonna see. But these are very fragile. Um, sometimes the stems can split completely in half, and then you'd have to use another flower. So again, I think it's just good to have extras, just because you never know if one might break or split or something like that, maybe you cut it too short and then it won't, you know, stay with the rest of them. And then of course, once you're done with, you know, the crown and everything, you can always press the flowers in a book and then you can, you know, keep them. That's what I typically do. I don't just throw them away. I do usually press them. And I have a whole video on how I press flowers, which is old. But still, a good video nonetheless, and it still, you know, gets the point across, even though it's old. I hope that this video was helpful, and if you guys make flower crowns, um, send me pictures and tag me on Instagram or Twitter, or, you know, whatever it may be that you're on, because I would love to see the flowers that you guys use. Um, I think wildflowers are really good to use. It's still too early here for me to really have any other flower other than daffodils. Hyacinths, their blossoms are too small, they're too short, so where you can't thread them. Um, dandelions are starting to grow. I will use those a lot too because they're just very simple. Um, I love using wildflowers a lot because they're so readily available and they just grow pretty much anywhere. Um, you just have to be careful if you're gonna do this um, make sure the flowers don't have a bug on them because otherwise you're gonna get a bug in your hair. But yeah, I love you guys so, so much and I hope you enjoyed this video because one of my talents that I enjoy doing that I think I'm pretty good at is making a good flower crown with real flowers. One of a kind. You won't really be able to find another one like it because it's a real flower and I mean, you can kind of replicate it, but I mean, you know, each of them is going to be its own unique shape and have its own vibe going on, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, uh, that's the end of this video, and yeah, I'll see you in my next one. Bye!